Hey everybody, Kim Siever here. So one area that I hyper focus on is organization. It's helped me a lot of a lot as an adult. It helps me to remember appointments, accomplish tasks, follow up with assignments, and so on. As I developed my system over the years, I didn't realize I was coping with ADHD. I just thought I was making sure I didn't forget things or procrastinated things. My entire adult life, I've tried to keep organized. I had a day planner in my late teens, a planner on my mission, and shortly after we were married, we started using an electronic calendar. Email became a critical organization tool of mine. I wanted to take a few moments to run through the system I've set up in the Reminders app on my iPhone. This helps me mostly with getting tasks done. In the app, I have several lists, scheduled items, days of the week, to sew, to build, home maintenance, to buy, and a catch-all list shared with the rest of the family. In my schedule list, I put everything I need to remember to do on a specific date. Here you'll see take out the garbage, a weekly task, make lemon squares for a church function, trim some branches on a tree that hangs dangerously over our roof, take a new profile picture to help document my growing out of my hair for cancer, and take my monthly vitamin C and iron supplements. For recurring tasks, I click on the repeat option, then select the frequency I need. For taking garbage to the back, I simply select it every week. If tasks that occur every month, I would select every month, and so on. There is even an option for creating your own custom recurrent schedule. On the date I'm supposed to do them, I'll have a reminder pop up on my phone, and I'll either take care of the task myself, assign it to someone, or snooze it if I'm busy when the reminder comes up. Either way, the task gets done that day or soon thereafter. Next are my daily lists. These are the workhorse of my system. They're where I get most of my work done. Let's look at Sunday's list happens to be Sunday today when I'm recording this video. Here you see a list of all the tasks I have remaining for the day. I've already completed several tasks today. These are the things I still need to get done today. I also included pretty benign things that I know I'll do every day, such as walking my dog. I mean, I, if I choose to not walk my dog, he'll make sure I actually do. Doing regular tasks like this helps me to remember to look at my app, which is critical if it's going to be effective for me. When I complete a task, I just check it off. Simple as that. Eventually, the app removes it from my list. However, I do this for just the one-time tasks. For daily tasks, such as walking my dog, I move the task to the next day's list when I've completed it. Instead of checking off a task, I click on it, then I click the little eye icon. From there, I click on the list menu and select the day from the change list window that comes up. Then if we switch to the Monday list, We can see that the, the task is listed there now. As far as the remaining lists go, well, these are pretty self-explanatory. To sew is for things that I need to sew, like a quilt. To build is for projects I want to build, like night tables. Home maintenance are for things that need fixing around the house. I try to add one of these to my Saturday list each week. And to buy is a list I share with my spouse, and it's where we list things we need to buy, such as pants or footwear for the children. And that's how I use the Reminders app on my iPhone to help me manage my ADHD, specifically my tendency to forget things and procrastinate things. What do you think? Do you think my system could work for you? How do you use your phone to help you get stuff done? Let me know in the comments below. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and share my video. Also, please subscribe to my channel. You can also follow my blog at siever.ca slash Kim, where I regularly post about ADHD where I will be regularly posting about ADHD issues and my experiences and techniques that I've come up with to help me manage my ADHD over the last 45 years. I look forward to talking to you again soon.